Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing with Madiba, and we're here to talk about if Ryan Garcia is mentally ready for Gervonta Tank Davis. As you all know, Tank and Ryan held their two-day press conference in New York and LA, and both were interesting and entertaining, especially the one today. It got me hyped, but I also learned a lot. It appears that Tank is starting to mind games already. He came late to the New York press conference, and that really seemed to agitate Ryan. Ryan kept on talking about being professional and whatnot, but this is a tactic that has been used in boxing and combat sports before. I also learned that Tank has no respect for Ryan's personal space. In today's press conference, Tank touched Ryan with a left hook pretty much, and Ryan was slow to react. And Tank put a hand on Ryan's shoulder during the press conference when Ryan was talking. Tank has done similar things to his last opponents. He put his hands on Hector Garcia like he was an older cousin at the cookout in their press conference. He pushed Roly Romero off stage during the weigh-in, and he pushed Pitbull Cruz in their press conference. This gives validity to the story that Tank grabbed Ryan's chain in the club and Ryan didn't do anything. I also learned that Ryan is a good talker. Ryan was more tame in the New York press conference, but in today's press conference, Ryan was talking that shit. Ryan got off some good jokes on Tank. He said that he wears a purse, he said that he dresses like he dances with unicorns and he fell through a rainbow, and some other stuff too. I was not expecting it, but this is good for promoting the fight. It also may show that Tank's mind games are working. I also learned that Ryan Garcia is not that tall compared to Tank. Mario Barrios was way taller than Tank, and Tank even said that himself. This changes how I view the fight completely. It's going to be easier for Tank to close the distance and land. But the biggest thing that we learned from this press conference is Ryan has a 10 pound rehydration clause for this fight. This fight is at a catch weight of 136, meaning Ryan cannot rehydrate over 146 pounds on fight night. And this can have some implications on the fight and how Ryan may perform. Ryan was a big lightweight, which was why he had to move up to 140. And even at 140, he still looks big. Based on his stature, Ryan probably walks around 160, 150, and most likely in his career at 154. Ryan stated that cutting to 136 was already a hard task, but having a limit on rehydration will make this harder. This may affect his conditioning, his power, and punch resistance. But Ryan signed a contract, so there's no excuses. If he loses, then he loses. Personally, I'm not really a fan of this rehydration clause. I thought that the catch weight was fine, since Tank is the A-side, and he is the smaller guy. But the rehydration clause is a bit too much for my liking. However, other boxers have used rehydration clauses before. Canelo had rehydration clauses for Daniel Jacobs and Kovalev. So it is what it is. My question is, is Ryan Garcia mentally prepared for Tank? As of right now, he looks mentally strong. Ryan talks very confidently. He appears to be more mature ever since he's been with Joe Goosen, and he truly believes that he'll win this fight. However, it does appear that Tank's mind games are getting to Ryan Garcia. Ryan is very reactive to what Tank does. Remember when Tank was in a wheelchair? Ryan was tweeting about it, and that's just one example. When you're very reactive to another person's actions, that means you're paying attention, which then can affect your mental state based on that person's actions. It's like dealing with a toxic ex that you still follow on Instagram. She can post a picture with another guy, and that can make you mad. And with the weight cut and the rehydration clause, this could affect Ryan's mental state leading into the fight. We've seen other fighters successfully use mind games. Floyd did this with De La Hoya, McGregor did this with Jose Aldo, Roberto Duran did this with Sugar Ray Leonard, and the list goes on. Tank kept on saying that Ryan only has a left hook and that seemed to annoy Ryan because Ryan started talking about all the other things that he can do, even though the left hook is Ryan's best punch. So Tank basically got Ryan out of character. As of right now, on the outside looking in, I think the mind games are working on Ryan, and if those mind games are working on Ryan, Ryan will lose the Tank. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing with Madiba. Hit like and subscribe and more contests coming your way.